A long-awaited report released by the state's Agency of Education last week left a couple of local school districts intact, but the story may be one that has a few more chapters to go. On June 1st, the report by the Education Secretary outlined a proposal to consolidate the remaining school districts around the state, which had not yet found merger partners under Act 46, legislation passed three years ago which aimed to overhaul and streamline the governance structure of Vermont's school districts. While the report, which is only a recommendation that needs final approval by the State Board of Education by this coming November, recommended 18 consolidations, other districts, including Arlington, Sandgate, and Winhall, were left to continue to work through the question of whether or not they will remain as is or ultimately make some changes. In the case of Arlington, the education agency found that Arlington had no obvious merger partners. But what may be in the offing is to dissolve the Battenkill Valley Supervisory Union, comprised of both Arlington and Sandgate, and have those two districts join the neighboring Bennington Rutland Supervisory Union. Arlington and BVSU board chairwoman Nicole Whelan gave us her takeaway on the situation. Well, I think what it did for Arlington with all the anticipation, I think people were waiting to see where we were going to be assigned. And the report didn't really identify where we will be assigned. It did confirm that the Agency of Education has identified Arlington School District as, um, I think there were 10 districts that were determined to be either structurally or geographically isolated. And as part of that, there are no merger possibilities for us as a district. So I think that was one, for us at least, one good thing that came out of the report is confirmation that as a pre-K-12 district, we have no merger partners around us. The indication that we got from the report was that it is um, likely to be recommended that the Arlington School District and Sandgate School District be placed in, reassigned to the BRSU as a supervisory union, um, with an understanding that those SU boundary changes would not take place any earlier than July 2020. So our next steps really would be to continue conversations with the BRSU um, to see what that path might look like. Um, we've started those, we've laid some of the initial groundwork and foundation and I know what their concerns are and I'm pretty clear on what some of our community concerns are. So it's, I think what we have ahead of us is a process of community dialogue and input and, and really collaboration with the BRSU to do this in a thoughtful way. For Arlington, most of the people that live here only know Arlington as our own supervisory union. They only know Arlington as, as part of the BVSU. And so this is a change. Um, and I think people just aren't sure what level of change, what that level of change will mean to the day-to-day -day operation of the school. And candidly, it probably won't mean that much change to the day-to-day -day operation of the school, but people have never seen a model other than what we currently have. So conversations have been underway for a while between the leadership of both supervisory unions, and before the report was released, we talked with Jackie Wilson, the superintendent of the BRSU, and Jim Salsgiver, the chairman of the BRSU Board of Directors, about what they saw as some of the issues they would need to overcome in order to make a link-up with Arlington and Sandgate a success. The BRSU has had its hands full organizing and digesting the merger of the Taconic and Green Regional District, as well as the Meadowy District merger between Rupert and Paulette, and hopes to have a little more time to plan for another round of absorbing new districts. I think my biggest concern um, right now is the capacity for us to do that and to do that well. Um, the BRSU has been involved in mergers. We were the first regional, ed, we took in the first regional ed district, which is, you know, the Floodbrook School and the Mountain Town Red. So we've been in merger work for five years. Larger issue, and we've had a conversation with um, Arlington about this, um, it's the community buy-in. I view that as the biggest um, hurdle to get over and what would be most important to a successful merger if we were to merge with um, Arlington. We really need the community behind that merger. Um, we don't want it viewed as a hostile takeover or as this is being, you know, we all need to get to a place that this is where we can see the opportunity for kids and we're feeling positive about that. So I view the biggest step is really transitioning um, the community to, to accept it and to say that, you know, we're not, you know, the bad guys coming in to, to take you over. We, we're, we have no interest in that, but how are we going to work together? 
yeah, I totally agree. The community, you know, community side is 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 key and you know one of the most fundamental. But when it comes, you brought up business office, so you know, statutorily, the supervisory union is obligated to run certain things for all of the all of the schools, and the business office is one of them. Also, special education, curriculum, transportation. You know, all of these are all things that the SU you know, is charged, you know, at the state level by the legislature through laws. The SU is expected to run those things for the districts. So, you know, I'd say, you know, when you say business office, business office is a complicated thing because they run totally differently down there. And we'd have to figure out a way to bring them on board and have essentially the business office managed here. Um, but, you know, one of the biggest, you know, curriculum and special ed. Mm-hmm. Are, are huge because, you know, curriculum, you know, they, they Arlington has, has their own sort of curriculum approach. And that's something that, you know, the people within the schools, the administrators, the teachers, you know, get, get very tied to. And you've got to, you know, so that's a culture change over time to, to bring them because, you know, we, we would have to bring them into a consistent approach with, you know, with everybody else. And maybe we'll learn some things from Arlington that we'll want to want to you know put into BRSU, but you know in the end it all has to meld together into one thing. Meanwhile, there remains the question of the future of Wynn Hall and its school district. While they may have been merged with the neighboring district of Stratton, which like Wynn Hall does not operate its own school and tuitions all its students elsewhere, for now the district remains in the BRSU as its own district, but one facing high tax rates compared to other communities. The Winhall School Board will be meeting Tuesday, June 12th, to start determining its next steps. And the story of Arlington, Sandgate, and the beer issue remains one to be continued. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.